Welcome to another video by Kilio Corey's Fish Room. Today we are going to talk about an alternate method of incubating killifish eggs and we are going to use paper towel, kitchen paper towels to do so. Recently Justin from Killifish Australia Facebook group put a post up showing us how he incubates some of his eggs on wet paper towel and I thought I'll just give it a go um, it's a quite a good alternative it seems like to using peat moss and so I folded the paper towel a number of times and put the paper towel in this little container with a lid um, it sort of it fits snugly and then you wet the paper towel um, obviously the eggs need moisture in during incubation I found the easiest way to make sure that there is enough moisture in the paper towel is to put more water than needed allow the paper towel to soak as much as it can and to pour the excess off this way we make sure that the paper towel is thoroughly wet and um, now it's ready the container is ready to receive eggs so I picked them up out from one of my tanks to have a guinea pig species to try with incubating the eggs on the wet paper towel these are Epiplates dagetti eggs I use little this little tool which gives me a lot more precision in terms of where I'm putting the egg in the container when the tip of the tool is wet it picks up the egg really easily but it is actually quite straightforward to just pick the egg with your fingers and then instead of using the tool just put the egg directly in obviously when you do that because your hand and fingers get in the way you don't really see where you're placing the egg but it is easy to move the eggs around later the other tricky thing was when the eggs are recently spawned where they're quite clear uh, it is a bit tricky to see the eggs that you already placed on the paper towel but you know those are just little issues really um, so just to make sure that the experiment is good one I've picked fair number of eggs for this container and one of the essential parts of killifish hobby is to make sure that you label all your containers you have your fish fry and eggs in just to make sure that there are no mixing of species happen so dagetti container is ready to see how it will go soon after that I decided well might as well do a couple of species this one's a mop from Ephesimian striatum and um, I thought I'll you know, try a couple of species Dagetti is a species from the Epiplates genus they are the surface dwelling um, African genus Epiplates and I thought I'll try an Ephiosemian which is also an African genus but they don't hang around in the surface so but in terms of the way you handle the eggs it's very similar so in theory if it works for one species it should work for the other but you know well I thought I'll try this striatum as well and just picking the eggs and 
putting them in the container. Obviously, um, both spaghetti and striatum can be water incubated, but putting eggs to incubate sort of moist or semi-dry, whatever you want to call this method, or the method where we incubate the eggs on peat moss, it allows us to hatch the fry roughly around the same time and it also saves us using antifungal agents in the water like methylene blue and others so this way you're separating the eggs physically and if one of the eggs were to go off in fungus it is less likely to be able to affect the other viable eggs close to it when sometimes eggs are all in water and if you don't realize it one of the fungus eggs can get the fungus onto the other eggs here are all the striatum eggs we collected some of them were actually already had started developing obviously i must have not checked them up for a while um, so yeah good number of striatum eggs to test how this is going to go and again it is essential to make sure that we are writing the name of the species on the box and never trust our memory Adam eggs are ready as well so now we all we have to do is wait for a week or two to see how the eggs develop uh, most non-annuals would be ready in 10 days to two to three weeks depending on the species and the temperature I went what the egg I should do a um, bunch of others. I did Gardneri albino, Gold, Gardneri mercurdi, Epipletes dagedi, like we saw in the beginning, Epipletes spilagarius. I was really happy about these eggs because this species hadn't spawned in the fish room for a while. Epipletes amr11. The Volcanum myelate and the striatum, of course. When the eggs are on the paper towel, just like on the peat moss, when the eggs is infertile and they go off, they go milky white. And when you see the eggs in this state, you should take them out straight away because those eggs are never going to develop fry. And after a period, when you have incubated the eggs long enough, um, these have been in this container now for about 10 days, um, even though normally I would have kept them on the paper towel a bit longer. I thought I'll take some of them out because as you recall, some of the eggs were already part of the way through the development. So initially, I thought I'll try the little tool that we have to see the eggs would come out. Um, when we incubate the eggs on peat moss by just wetting the this tip of this tool, when you touch the egg it actually sticks to it. But obviously this is a bit wetter incubation so the egg actually doesn't stick to the tool at all so the way to take the eggs out is by just using a pipette just getting a bit of the water from the paper towel first and then flushing the water over the egg allows you to pipette the egg out and it's a quite
quite a easy way to do it but obviously if you only have a weak spoon or less on the paper towel the easy thing to do is just rinse the paper towel in the hatching container and allow all the eggs to fall off the paper towel to the bottom of the container not take them up like this one by one um, I was just sort of playing around and seeing what is possible and what is not in terms of moving eggs around and things like that because the main thing I was worried about the paper towel method was whether I would accidentally damage the developing embryo or the fry when they are really close to hatching and it didn't take long once the eggs went in the water for fry to start hatching so overall the paper towel method is a good alternative for hatching non-annual killifish eggs thank you for watching this video by Kilio Cori's fish room